The Truth About Muhammad, Founder of the World's Most Intolerant Religion 2006, is a book by Robert Spencer, the director of Jihad Watch and Dimi Watch. In the book Spencer presents an account of what Muhammad said and did from the writings of the early biographers of Muhammad such as Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Sa'd al-Baghdadi, Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari as well as the Quran and the Hadith collections of Bukhari and Muslim. In the examination of the early sources, Spencer gives his view on the events of Muhammad's life which are invoked by contemporary Islamic clerics, governments, advocates and Yusuf al-Qaradawa today as a standard for their behavior. The book aims to draw a connection between Muhammad's legacy and modern-day practices like child marriages and divorce laws, punishments such as stoning for adultery and amputation for theft, execution for apostasy as well as the jihad and dhimmi doctrines adopted towards non-Muslims, as found in some parts of the Muslim world. The book was on the New York Times bestseller list for the week ending October 14, 2006. Topic. Response British author Karen Armstrong criticized the book as follows Like any book written in hatred, his new work is a depressing read. Spencer makes no attempt to explain the historical, political, economic and spiritual circumstances of 7th century Arabia, without which it is impossible to understand the complexities of Muhammad's life. Consequently he makes basic and bad mistakes of fact. Even more damaging, he deliberately manipulates the evidence. When discussing Muhammad's war with Mecca, Spencer never cites the Quran's condemnation of all warfare as an awesome evil, its prohibition of aggression or its insistence that only self-defense justifies armed conflict. He ignores the Quranic emphasis on the primacy of forgiveness and peaceful negotiation. The second the enemy asks for peace, Muslims must lay down their arms and accept any terms offered, however disadvantageous. There is no mention of Muhammad's nonviolent campaign that ended the conflict. People would be offended by an account of Judaism that dwelled exclusively on Joshua's massacres and never mentioned Rabbi Hillel's golden rule, or a description of Christianity based on the bellicose book of Revelation that failed to cite the Sermon on the Mount. But the widespread ignorance about Islam in the West makes many vulnerable to Spencer's polemic, he is telling them what they are predisposed to hear. His book is a gift to extremists who can use it to prove. To those Muslims who have been alienated by events in Palestine, Lebanon and Iraq that the West is incurably hostile to their faith. To this Spencer replied, This is, of course, a familiar tactic of leftists, jihadists, and those who sympathize with them, characterize any accurate report of their activities as hatred. Never mind that my book works strictly from the earliest extant Sunni Islamic sources, and only reports what they say. If there is any hatred in it it comes from sunni sources not from me reading this i doubt armstrong actually read the book or maybe she just wants to make sure no one else reads it in fact anyway the beginning of chapter three and many other passages throughout the book are devoted to explaining the historical political economic and spiritual circumstances of seventh century arabia the government of Pakistan confiscated all copies of the book and banned it on 20 December 2006 citing objectionable material as the cause. Spencer responded that the book does not assert anything that is not readily verifiable in the Sunni sources he provides. <laughs> Topic. Reviews Writing in the Asian American Law Journal of January 2007, Deepika Baines and Aziza Ahmed strongly criticized the book, claiming to find structural problems, as well as deep substantive flaws, such as unfounded assertions and conclude that, with its lack of analysis, absence of historical context, and gaps in information, Robert Spencer's The Truth About Muhammad accomplishes Spencer's goal of vilifying Muslims and misinforming readers about Islam. They go on. Spencer frames his book partly as a testament to the importance of the freedom of speech. 
However, Robert Spencer exercises his right to free speech free from responsibility, choosing instead to inspire hatred and encourage intolerance. David Thompson wrote in The Guardian that Robert Spencer provides a detailed and timely repost to common misconceptions, outlining the mismatch between belief and historical reality and documenting the ways in which Muhammad's own deeds and purported revelations are used verbatim to mandate intolerance, xenophobia and homicidal martyrdom. Concluding with, "...denial, as they say, is not just a river in Egypt." Andrew G. Bostom wrote about the book in the Washington Times, quote, quote, The Truth About Muhammad, a shoes contemporary, P. V. Muhammad, Hagiography, reviving the highly informative, unapologetic genre of biographical narratives of Muhammad epitomized by the works of Muir, Margoluth and Kaitani. Andrew C. McCarthy wrote in National Review that this book is important and that everybody should read it. Robert Spencer graphically illustrates the depth of our folly in thinking or, rather, blithely assuming otherwise. An alarming book, and a necessary one. Bruce Thornton wrote about this book. Spencer's new book continues this important service of arming us with the facts we need in order to understand an enemy who wants nothing from us other than our conversion, death, or subjection. Unless we heed people like Robert Spencer, it seems that only another graphic example of jihadist violence within our borders has a chance of teaching us the history of the enemy. Topic. See also Criticism of Muhammad Topic. References and notes Topic. External links Preview this book in Google Books Topic. Videos C-SPAN video presentation at the Heritage Foundation, lecture on the truth about Muhammad, founder of the world's most intolerant religion. Video, Robert Spencer Talks Islam with Laura Ingram on O'Reilly. Topic. Audio Robert Spencer discusses The Truth About Muhammad on Shire Network News Part 1 Robert Spencer discusses The Truth About Muhammad on Shire Network News Part 2